Hey hun, I'm Chloe and this is the inside leg turn slash Hollywood tutorial. My mission is to share my passion for pole dancing and make pole dancing easy to learn and accessible. This is the 23rd video of the beginner pole trick tutorial series. In order to maximize your training out of all the videos, I highly recommend you to start from the very first video of this playlist as the tricks will be a progression of the video before. The inside leg turn or Hollywood is a very Australian OG trick and I absolutely love this one. This video is mirrored for your ease of learning. I'll also have a red wristband on my right wrist and my right ankle to indicate the right side of my body if you do get confused with the direction. This trick tutorial is created for you for informational and educational purposes only and for you to enjoy learning pole dancing from the comfort of your own home. Please participate at your own risk and don't work beyond your capability and seek help or spotting when necessary. For any health concerns, please make sure to seek professional medical advice. Please also you make sure you warm up your body before you start this video. I have a warm up playlist depending on your level under the playlist, warm up, so that you can try that before you do the tricks. If you enjoy this video, please make sure you give it a thumbs up so that I know to create more of these kinds of videos and subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet so that you are notified every single week I upload a video. If you're looking to further your pole journey and combining tricks and dance together, then consider signing up to my online learning platform, Pole Art Vault, where we put all the tricks together into a combo and learning an entire routine with combos and dance together. You can find the link in the description below for further information. Alrighty, without further ado, let's get into the inside leg turn slash Hollywood tutorial. Rightio, let's get into our conditioning. Now with our conditioning, we are going to get into the exact shape as our inside leg turn or Hollywood, but without spinning or doing it in a static position so that you can familiarize yourself with how and where to grip onto the pole. And this is also going to be good conditioning for the tricks well. So, you are going to come onto the left side of the pole, coming onto your toes. Inside hand comes nice and high, thumb facing up. Outside hand comes just underneath your chest so that you can create a 90 degree angle with your outside hand. You're gonna squeeze your armpit in and then push away with your bottom arm. Now from here, your inside leg comes onto the pole, behind the pole, and then you're gonna get into your knee crease. Now, when you are getting into your knee crease or knee pit, make sure that your knee is in facing directly up towards the ceiling. You want to make sure that your knee is facing away from you at an angle and then you're going to turn your hip out at the same time. So, when you're doing this leg grip, you really want to make sure you wedge your pole right into your knee pit so that you get that grip. Now, if you face your knee up, what's going to happen is the pole is going to come all the way to your ankle and we want to avoid that. Making sure that it's all in your knee pit. So again, you're gonna come onto your toes. You're gonna to bring your knee at a 90 degree angle from the floor. You're gonna squeeze your ankle all the way towards your cookie. Inside hand up, outside and across. And then all you're gonna do is lift your outside leg off and then coming down. Now there is actually the positioning of your inside leg turn or Hollywood. So. All we're doing is really working on that engagement in your leg and also in your upper body so that we can condition our body for it. So let's try two more of that on each side, so three in total. Inside and up, outside and across, onto your toes, getting your knee at a 90 degree angle from the floor, squeezing your knee pit. And there you have it. All right, let's try one last one. Well done. All right, let's try it on the other side. All right, inside and up, outside and across, squeezing your armpit in, rotating shoulder back and down. Inside leg comes at a 90 degree angle. Bring your knee away from you, squeezing your ankle all the way towards your cookie. Lift that outside leg off. Beautiful. All right, you got two more. Squeeze. And last one. 
well done and that is conditioning done now let's go through our inside leg turn tutorial now I am gonna be on a spin pole but you can try this both on spin and static you all know the drill I like my spin pole better all right now this is what an inside leg turn or Hollywood looks like Alrighty, now let's go through how to do our inside leg turn on a spinning pole. So how we did in our conditioning, we're going to do the exact same thing, but instead of bringing your leg up first, we are stepping into it and then getting into the right positioning. So let's repeat that again. Inside hand up, outside and across, squeezing your armpit in from here. You're going to step in with your uh, inside leg and then from there you're going to lift your inside leg off and then you're going to hook your knee pit onto the pole. So we go step, lift your inside leg up behind the pole, squeezing your knee pit onto the pole and then you're going to point your outside leg away. Now when you are in this position, as I mentioned in the conditioning, make sure that your knee is facing away from you. If your knee is facing up, then you're either gonna come onto your ankle when you're coming into your inside leg turn, or you're not gonna get into the right positioning. You might even get your leg behind. So make sure that you really squeeze your knee and then knee facing away from you. Now with your outside leg, your knee uh, kneecap should be facing forward yeah so rather than turning your knee in make sure that you turn your chest away now when you're coming into the positioning you will be facing closer to the pole but once you hook your knee make sure that you turn your chest away so you're gonna go step turn your chest away and then if you can take your outside hand off you can take your outside hand off as well to come down Step out with your outside leg and then inside leg. Well done. So again, if you want to try it, you can take your outside hand off. If not, you can keep your outside hand on the pole as well. Let's try it on the other side. Inside and up, outside and across. Squeeze your armpit in, rotate your shoulder back and down. You're going to step in with your inside leg. Lift your inside leg up behind the pole, squeeze into your knee pit. Make sure you turn your chest away. If you can take your outside and off, taking your outside and off. So come down, outside leg down, and inside leg down. Well done. Now let's go through how to do it on a static pole. I've just put my pole on static so that we can go through this tutorial together. So, instead of stepping with your inside leg how we did in our spinning pole, you are going to swing your outside leg all the way around, creating momentum with your outside leg, and then you're gonna come into your inside leg turn. So, inside and up, outside and across. You're going to swing your outside leg all the way around, turn, 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 and coming down. Now, when you're doing your static inside leg turn, Make sure that you're not gripping the pole too hard. You wanna make sure you still a teeny bit loose on your hands so that you can still spin around the pole as how we usually do on static. You wanna create the rotation on your own. Unless you obviously wanna like hold your inside leg turn, that is totally fine as well. But I find that creating a bit of spin is a little nicer when you're doing your inside leg turn. So make sure, again, you're pivoting with your inside toe. You're keeping your inside toe there. Swing your outside leg all the way around. Pivot, 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 swing. And then hook. And coming out. Well done. All right, make sure you do it on your other side as well. Inside and up, outside and across. You're gonna keep your inside leg on the uh, floor. I almost said pole. You're gonna swing your outside leg all the way around. Swing, 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 swing. Tuck. And coming down. Well done. So there is your inside leg turn or Hollywood on a static pole. Now let's go through our tips and common mistakes. Common mistake number one is your leg positioning. 
Now this is the one I always mention in our conditioning and in our trick tutorial as well. Making sure that your knee is facing away from you. Again, if you feel like your pole is coming all the way to your ankle, it is probably because your knee is facing directly up. So in order to not do that, make sure you kick your ankle towards your cookie and then making sure that your knee is facing away from you and then you want to tilt your hip in or turn your knee out, I should say. Now, other thing is your body positioning. Now, with your body positioning, you want to make sure that you're turning your chest away. So what you're really doing is facing your knee away and chest away. So remember to push your chest away so that you can get into the right position and that's gonna give you that extra grip. If you keep turning towards the pole, you'll find that your leg will slide, but then as soon as you turn your chest away, you're almost sort of like locking that leg into the positioning and then it'll give you extra grip on your legs. Now, other thing is your hand positioning. With your hand, making sure that you always rotate your shoulder back and down. I just wanna reiterate how important this is because if you end up hanging in your shoulder, then this is going to cause shoulder injuries. And shoulder injuries are terrible, I can tell you that. I've gone through that one before. Not fun at all. Now, outside hand should be pushing away. So making sure that you're not pulling in both hands, pushing away in your outside hand and then making sure that your wrist is neutral as well. So no sort of like turning your wrist in type of motion. Now, if you wanna take your outside end off, make sure that you're not using traffic controller hands. So what I define as traffic controller hands are these sort of like fingers together, sort of like very rigid motion. Make sure that you are micro bending your elbow, gentle wrists, and then creating a lopsided ear cor corgi with your hand. And you wanna almost think like cr you're creating a ripple with your fingertips, very gentle motion. Ow, ow. <laughs> and this is going to help you with a very nice gentle hands and no rigid hands. Now, the next tip is as always, making sure that you have grip on your body, wipe down the pole if you need to, grab up your hands, all the products that I like to use are all linked in the description below. And I'm not sponsored for any of the products, this is just for your benefit. Also, with your leg, making sure that your knee isn't facing towards the pole. This sort of like coincides with your body positioning. As soon as you turn your chest, then you see how like naturally my knee starts to tilt in. If you either think about turning your chest out and then your leg out, that's also going to enable you to turn your knee out at the same time. So making sure that your knee is facing to the side. So you're not bringing your leg forward at an angle. You wanna make sure that your leg is all the way to your side. Meaning, if I am turning this way towards this side of the room, I'm bringing my leg out at the side. So not forward, not back, but to your side. And those were all the tips and common mistakes I wanted to go through. Now, our mindset tip I wanna go through today, more like a physical sort of tip, is to make sure that you're eating nutritious food. Now, when I mean nutritious food, it is making sure that you are energized before you do any sorts of physical activity. And obviously in this situation, pole dancing. Now, if you are not fueling your body with nutritious food, and this is also from my own experience and also from some of the students that I've coached in the past, is that you don't have any energy to actually do pole. Now, I'll give you an example how important it is to fuel yourself. I had one student that used to come to my classes um, and she would just be so fatigued at like some of the days and then some days she'll perform really, really well. Now, I'm not gonna limit and say that food is everything. There's obviously so many different factors that come into play, sleep, 
hydration, stress, maybe bodily fatigue, endo, illnesses, sickness, could be anything. Now, this is one factor of making sure that you have en enough energy to sort of fuel yourself and make sure that you are doing whole very safely as well, is to make sure you eat nutritious food. So making sure that you have enough carbs and even a bit of sugar before your training, I'd say an hour or maybe two hours, depending on if you take a little more time to digest or not, please make sure that you eat before so that you are fueled and that makes a ton of a difference in your results when you're doing pole. So keep that in mind when you're training. If you feel like you might be tired, it might be because you're not eating properly. So make sure you get into a habit of eating before, um, before you train. Thank you so much for joining me in the Inside Leg Turn or Hollywood tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it and I shall see you in the very next tutorial. Bye!